Is that your expectation for the position? Yeah, I'm asked that a lot by my barista, um, <laughs> mum and dad, my cousins. Um, no, I mean, we need to improve, clearly, to, to match it with the teams that um, were up the top last year. Um, in terms of win-loss, I don't, it's pretty hard to put a number on that, but we certainly need to improve massively to compete with those guys more consistently than we did last year. Anyone stand out in the pre-season so far? Yeah, I think that, and that's probably where our, our growth and improvement is going to have to come from. Guys on our list that um, you know, I think Sam Durham has probably stood out massively, putting on size and getting some more access inside. Uh, as a midfielder, um, Nick Martin, I think, is still someone who has a lot of improvement. He had a great year last year, but going back to half back, I think, will provide some amazing uh, opportunity for him. Um, even to see you know, Ben Mackay, a genuine key back, 200 centimetres, um, it's still in the midst of a lot of confidence. When we do lose a stoppage, look back and he's there. Uh, yeah, I think there's a lot of guys that we need to jump up, and I think there's guys that are ready to jump up. Nick, Nick Cox, he's struggled to get his body right in the last couple of years. Is this his season, do you think, to, 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 re, to return to what he did in his first year? Yeah, I think it's a bit of his body getting um, or allowing him to train consistently and perform consistently and also probably a bit of clarity and consistency with his role. You know, I think he's played wing, forward, rock, back. He's sort of been thrown around a lot. I think for any young player, it's pretty difficult to consistently perform. So I think he'll probably settle down mostly at half back potentially a little bit of time on the wing, but when you're 200 centimetres, can run well and kick both feet. You sort of go a bit of everything, but at sometimes you can float sort of through positions, and um, I think a bit of consistency will help him massively. Yep. Um, well, hopefully, hopefully he's out there performing well. I think he's um, the most talked about player probably at Essendon, uh, he's got amazing talent, but also there's things that he needs to perform and do if he's going to play consistently that other guys are doing and the game requires you to do now. So, um, yeah, we love him. We think he provides an amazing amount of um, excitement for us out there. And his footy IQ is second to none, but you also need to perform at a certain level and I'm sure he's going to get there. We're yeah, constantly having conversations, Jake and I, and obviously Brad as well as, as senior coach, um, to make sure he's crystal clear on what we need or what the club needs or the group needs for him in his role to allow him to perform. But we're also there to support him, make sure that he's in a role that's going to best suit his attributes and his skill set because um, yeah, he can do things that not many other guys can do. Uh, so I think he'll, he's primed to have a good year as well. Uh, Jesus, there's a lot of teams that are hard to beat. I think Brisbane's a team. Though. I think they're primed. They've been there for five years and um, keep adding more mature players to their list. So they're going to be tough to beat. Just one concussion quickly. A bit of talk about limiting um, sort of physical head knocks and training. Could you get more stable? Is there a limit on contact training during the week? Yeah, I mean, I'm sure there'll be more research and data and uh, academic uh, papers produced to give a better answer. But for me personally, I think we, we could look to do even if it's a one session a week contact training um, to prevent injuries uh, and pre-season maybe two given there's no match on the weekend. I think that'd be something that makes sense. I think NFL maybe do something similar. I think um, as players we'll adjust to what is required or what's needed, no doubt. Um, but also need to have our bodies ready to get hit on the weekend. So there's obviously a nice balance, but I think we can work with the AFL uh, and get a good result for everyone. Thanks guys. Thank you. Thanks, Zach.